Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Rick and Lisa's Kitchen and Garden. Today I want to show you how I made a multi-purpose cold frame. This one uh, I submerged into the ground I dug into uh, about three feet down and I put uh, some foam insulation then I put some bricks then I put black plastic and uh, most of these materials are free. I got the acrylic cover from a friend who uh, does uh, acrylic work for museums and this was a cast off. The cover of the coal frame is uh, an old uh, museum piece cover that was discarded. I hinged it at the top and this wood was all recycled. I got this um, solar panel for free and I put in a computer fan and the hole on the side here and this side here to keep the uh, provide some active cooling because it gets very hot in there um, and I put it on an angle so that uh, it gets a maximum amount of Sun it gets very hot in there uh, the inside temperature I got two digital probes it was 52 degrees before I raised the cover and I'll look at the, my outside probe it says 37 degrees outside so if I didn't have the fan in there to vent it it would get twice as hot uh, so this is good for uh, dehydrating as well I just sandwich uh, leaf and products I want to dry up between two screens and I put it inside here and quite often it's it's on a day like this it's gonna be dried in one day so this works good for starting your uh, seedlings and extending your growing season and also I've actually had plants I've uh, overwintered I had I got kale it's three years old now that I put in pots and uh, put inside the coal frame stored in the coal frame and they survived the winter and take them out plant them back in the garden and here you go that kale there the big in the big one in the middle that's three years old uh, I actually make a dome tent now and it uh, doesn't have to be transferred into the coal frame it survives the winter right there with a, a dome cover like this but made out of plastic so cold frame comes very handy uh, it could be built on top of a, a raised bed like that but you get more bang for your buck here by having a sunk in the ground it's a, a heat sink uh, the bricks absorb the heat and re-radiate it at night so it lasts much longer it's uh, very uh, handy to dry things out too